In this video, we'll be going over the setup for the aperture exposure exercise. What we're going to be doing is showing how, as your aperture changes, it will be letting in less or more light depending on the size of the aperture opening. What we're going to need to do is first turn on your camera and take it off of the green auto setting and turn it over to manual. I know it seems scary, but don't worry, we'll be fine. The reason why we want to be in manual mode in this case is because we want to isolate and show the effects specifically of aperture on the uh, exposure rather than having the camera try to compensate and have it change other settings at the same time. Then next what you're going to do is use the command dial on top and dial in a shutter speed. Probably dial in something along the lines of 1 50th of a second. On most consumer grade DSLRs, you do not have a secondary dial on the back to be able to change your aperture. In fact, what you need to do is press to change the aperture in manual mode is press the plus minus button, which sometimes also has a little symbol of a, uh, a actual aperture diaphragm on the inside of the camera there. So you will press that down just like this and then using the dial at the same time that command dial, scroll it back and forth and that will allow you to be able to change your aperture values. Go ahead and put it at the absolute lowest aperture value or f-stop that is available on your camera. If you're doing this exercise with the kit lens that comes with the camera, depending on your focal length that you have your camera at, it's going to range somewhere between 3.5 and 5.6. If you have it zoomed out all the way to 18, it'll be 3.5. If you have it all the way to 55, it'll be 5.6. You can just leave the ISO there. The only important thing is that you make sure that you take it off of ISO auto. If it wasn't already on a selected one, you'll go in. If you're using a Canon camera, just click on the, press on the ISO button and then go ahead and scroll to something that is any basically ISO setting other than auto. 800 is a nice place to go for this particular exercise. Once you've done that, that's great. If you have a Nikon camera, you're going to have to go into the menu and take it off of the auto setting and then go ahead and set independent of that what the actual ISO that you want to do, uh, want to set is. From there, what you're going to do is bring your camera up to your eye and take a shot. Go ahead now and change your aperture value to a higher number, say two or three clicks higher. Go ahead, take the shot. Go ahead, keep going, the same exact pattern. Pressing down that plus minus button so that you can then increase the f-stop value. What you're doing as you're going along is by making the f-stop value higher, the size of that hole is actually getting smaller. And so it's letting in less and less light. So that's why as you go along and do this series, you will see that your image is going to get darker and darker and darker. Go ahead, do this whole exercise all the way until you reach F22 and you will have completed the aperture exposure exercise.